Hello everyone, Ron here from LTL Tutoring Central, and I am back with a story time. I'm recording this one through Zoom uh, this time because it was easier than trying to do uh, slides just because of the size of the story. It's not really huge, but it's bigger than some of the really short stories that I've done slides for. So we're, we'll try it this way. Uh, this is a, a much lighter story. Uh, it's one of my own stories again from uh, my first volume of short stories. Uh, called My Apologies, and the first story in that book is My Apologies, and that's uh, already been recorded and up on the channel if you want to have a look at that one. This one's called Runaway, and as I say, it's a little bit lighter uh, kind of story. I hope you get a giggle out of it here and there. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much academic uh, information, but as I'm reading, or as you're reading, if you read it through yourself later on or just listen to it, uh, if you see some figurative language or devices that you're interested in, let me know. If you recognize some of the characters or, or people, uh, if you think it was you at one time, or if you know somebody and you think, yeah, that reminds me of, you know, that that's always fun as well, because uh, often we connect with characters in the story, either reminds us of, uh, reminds us of ourselves or of uh, someone we know. So generally, just sit back, relax. You can follow along if you like, or just listen to the story. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, if you're watching on YouTube, you can um, give them below. Uh, you can always get a hold of me uh, through email. All the links will be in the description for my website and for my email, and also uh, links so that you can go and uh, have a look or purchase a volume one or volume two of my books and also my study skills book link will be there as well don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already and uh, like the video if you do like the video but i guess we'll have to get to the end for you to know i am going to share my screen now so that we can read this story the runaway <laughs> all right i will do my best to get into a little bit of character here I'm not coming back. You haven't left yet. You'll never see me again, she screamed indignantly. Her formerly cherubic face was crimson. I see you still, Mother calmly responded. The girl's face flamed. This was unbelievable. She was beside herself with anger. You won't know whether I'm dead or alive. You're far too noisy to be dead. Once I'm gone, I mean, I'm gone forever. When are you saying goodbye? It was incredible. The girl could not believe her ears. She had threatened her mother before and never such an uncaring response. How dare she? I mean it, she warned. I have other things to do, mother replied. I haven't got all day to listen to someone who, apparently, will soon no longer be here to interrupt my daily activities. She rose to leave. The girl could not have imagined this reaction in a million years. Things were not going according to plan. The dress she wanted wasn't all that expensive, certainly not worth losing a real live girl. She felt her mother was bluffing, and this made her angrier. But now mother was leaving the room, and she didn't seem upset in the least. As mother turned the corner, disappearing into the kitchen and daily routine, the girl decided then and there to carry out her plan. She would run away forever. The moment passed quickly. As soon as she envisioned running away, the new dress vanished too. It wouldn't work. She was defeated. Had mother known all this time? Surely she couldn't have known her commitment. Anger turned to fear as she imagined having no home, no warm bed, no mother. It was all crystal clear now, but previously running away and getting the new dress seemed inseparably connected. Mother would never risk losing her sweet girl, precious. So the dress was, for all intents and purposes, already hanging in her rose pink trimmed closet. As she too slowly left the living room, thoughts raced through her mind, trying to sort themselves into this new logic. She now saw that specially padded hanger swinging empty inside her closet. But more, she had no closet. She was homeless. No, she thought, I must remain calm. I haven't left yet. She lingered in the kitchen, wondering where mother had gone, abandoning her to her own poisoned thoughts. How irresponsible. She peered into the sink and saw horror, horror beyond belief. In the bottom of the sink were three pork chops. 
frozen, hard, lifeless bits of meat, but the meaning was startlingly evident. One for dad, one for mother, one for brother. She could see him gnawing and licking the bone, pretending to be the pet dog they never had. None for precious. She felt weak. Her knees were knocking, or what she imagined to be knocking. She couldn't actually hear anything. Wait, maybe that was her heart pounding in her ears, pulsing. The walls of the kitchen expanded. The room was growing, or she was shrinking. Sounds retreated to distant plains, leaving only frightening imaginings to fill the void with silent, blazing noise. She wanted to leave the kitchen. She desperately wanted to win, but all was lost. She panicked. Mother was coming across the lawn to the back door, her arms burdened with laundry. Precious had images of her mother tossing her clothes into a bag for the Salvation Army. She rallied her courage, stood stock still, rigid, and determined to fight one final battle. She struggled to generate an original nuclear ultimatum. As soon as the door opened, the girl burst into tears. Mommy, I didn't mean it. I can't leave. This is my home. Of course, dear, she agreed so calmly. Precious couldn't believe it. Where is my pork chop? She stammered through sobs and intake breaths. Without the tears, it would have been an accusation. You have dance class tonight and have dinner after at Maggie's. She was right. How could she have forgotten it was dance night? How could she have lost everything? Okay, there we have it. The Runaway. I'll stop the share there for a second. All right, I hope there's enough imagery in there. I hope there's enough characterization for you. Let me know what you think of the story. Uh, let me know, as I say, whether you identify with it in any way. Uh, did you find it humorous at all? Um, uh, any other aspect of the story that you have questions or comments, as, you, as I say, you can give them if you're watching on YouTube just below, or you can send them to me through my email. I'll put links in the description for both the website and uh, my email, as well as links to the book. So you can go and you can read them for free if you have uh, Kindle Unlimited, I think it's called, and uh, or you can purchase them for a small price if you want a paper copy or an e read uh, e-book, <laughs> if I can get all these names right. Um, yeah, I think I think that's all I really have to say about this one. I just really wanted you to try to sit back and enjoy. I hope you did. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you did. Just give it a thumbs up. It all does help the channel. It's been growing nicely. Thank you to all the viewers who have subscribed. And I know there's a number of viewers who have not, I haven't checked the percentages lately, but I know that a lot of viewers watch, but don't subscribe. It really does help just to push that little button. It doesn't hurt at all. Um, other than that, just keep reading, keep learning, keep having fun. It is Ron from LTL Tutoring Central. Until next time, have fun and keep learning. Bye-bye for now.